here in Rome, checking out the sights. One of the things I want to do while I'm here is to try to locate some of the filming locations for one of my favorite movies, Vittoria De Sica's Bicycle Thieves from 1948. Let's check it out. Okay, this is the first stop. This is a, a street called Via Francesco Crispi. It's kind of halfway between the Spanish Steps and Trevi Fountain. See the wall here? This is where they filmed the scene where Antonio, uh, basically on his first day of the job, he is putting up movie posters on this wall right here in his bicycle which is the foundation of his livelihood. He has it leaned up against the wall right there. And that young fellow wearing the German cap grabs it and runs off with it. Antonio's bike is stolen. The young fellow rides the bike furiously down the road here with Antonio hot in pursuit, yelling, thief, thief, stop. Runs by these columns right here. It's a lot busier now. <laughs> you gotta be careful walking down these streets. And uh, the, the guy on the bike, he goes down into this intersection, pedaling furiously, and he kind of veers off to the left here. We'll just go down there and uh, check it out. And the, the young fellow on the bicycle went uh, across through the intersection and through the through the tunnel up ahead there. So again, that's Via Francesco Crispi, our first stop on Bicycle Thieves filming locations in Rome. Here we are at uh, Porta Portesi Market. It's just over there. This is where Antonio came after the first market, where they were looking, where they were looking at the disassembled bicycle parts. Bruno was looking at uh, bicycle bell and pump, and the other guy was looking at the frame and stuff. And they had no luck, so uh, they they get a ride on a truck from one of Antonio's friends 
and he drops them off here in the rain. It's pouring rain. They get off right over there by those steps and um, to, to visit the Porto Portese market. But it's raining and all the vendors are packing up their wares and scurrying away. So Antonio, with Bruno trailing behind, he wanders around here, kind of bewildered, not knowing what to do. It's pouring rain, he doesn't know what to do. Goes by those, um, those arches right over there. And then he kind of wanders across the street. I'm going to run across the street before any more traffic comes. In the pouring rain, with Bruno trailing behind, he comes up to this window right here, and he stands at that window. Under the eave, trying to shelter from the rain. As Bruno comes across, Bruno falls on the street right there, falls on his face. And Antonio, Antonio doesn't uh, notice, and then finally looks around while Bruno's trying to clean himself up and says, What happened? And Bruno says, I fell down! It's kind of a funny, funny scene and poignant at the same time. So this is uh, Porto Pettese Market, Bicycle Thieves filming location, right here on this corner. The camera, I think, was set. I can't walk, go any farther, but it was set just a few feet behind me here, pointing down there. There's graffiti on the wall now. All over Rome. Rome is absolutely plastered with graffiti. Okay, now we're on a we're on a tiny little alley. It's called Vicolo della Campanella, right there. This is where Antonio and Bruno followed the bicycle thief. This is his home neighborhood. This tiny little alley. No, no, okay. Come devi ridare quello che mi hai preso? Ma che ho preso? Ma guarda un po'. Ma che. Ma che ho preso? La bicicletta mi hai preso. Ma che bicicletta? Ma quale bicicletta? Mica sono ladro io. No, non te ne vai. 
Ma mo da mola non schiava se ne è che il muro. Ma io t'ammazzo se non la tiri fuori. Hai voglia a strillare? Io non mi muovo da qua, tu la tiri fuori. Ma guarda un po' che mi succede a me, un matto che mi da assultare. Me lo lascia a No, che non lo lascia a Ma che ti hai mai visto a te? Lascia a Tu me lo compromette. Uh, he lived in one of these, like, 18 or 17 around here. Uh, and Antonio goes up in there with the policeman and then comes back down. And by that time, the young kid has an epileptic fit. And all the neighbors are starting to congregate and threaten Antonio. Saying, get out of here. What are you doing here? Why are you accusing this kid? And it's looking really bad. The confrontation is right in this little alley. And finally Antonio realizes he's he has no hope. So he starts walking away. He walks right up here towards that door. That door is exactly the same now. And he stops right here and he looks back over his shoulder. And then he starts walking down Vicolo della Campanella. Funny thing is though, the Airbnb where we rented our room, by coincidence, is that very one where the locals sit, where Antonio walked by and where the locals sit on the doorstep. <laughs> the key. This is where we're staying. Antonio walked right by the door. Thank you. 